Hi, I'm Jason Snell. I'm the editorial director here at Macworld, and I have in my hands an iPod Touch, which just arrived in stores today. We got ours at the Apple Store in San Francisco. It's still in the shrink wrap. Look at that. And we'll uh, open it up, take you inside, and see what makes the iPod Touch tick. All right. So let's take this thing apart. Get that shrink wrap off. It's everybody's favorite part of an unboxing video. Corinne Bailey Ray on the front. Ooh. Uh, and here we are. iPod Touch. Shiny back. You can see the little cutout for Wi Fi. There's the front. Let's see if we can get this thing woken up. The first thing it's telling us is attached to iTunes. So let's go attach to iTunes. See, this looks very much like a sync for an iPhone. And in fact, that's true not only on the iPod Touch itself, but in iTunes. When you look in iTunes, you've got tabs. You can set your syncing. Um, one thing that's very different from the iPhone, though, is this manually manage music and videos option. That's something you can do on other iPods, but aren't able to do on the iPhone. With that option checked, you can drag files onto your iPod from within iTunes without using a syncing system. And you can also actually select the music in your iPod, double click on a track, and it'll play back even when it's attached to your Mac, which is uh, certainly much more flexible. See what else is in, in the box. We've got our designed by Apple in California package here with uh, some basic information and the telltale black chamois. And we've got a little pouch inside of which we find dock connector number thir number 14. Very exciting, number 14. And also we have dock cable, some headphones, and a little plastic guy. It's definitely the iPhone's little brother. The uh, iPod Touch is thinner. Um, it's slightly shorter than the iPhone. They're very similar. They both have the home button on the front. They both have a sleep button on the top. Um, the other big difference is that there's a chrome ring around the iPhone, and it's a black ring around the face of the iPod Touch. Here in the uh, iPod view, uh, you've got an artist list. If you turn it on its side, you can view cover flow just as you can on the iPhone. That's uh, very much the same interface. Um, turn it upright again, you can navigate around, choose an artist, choose an album, choose a track. It'll start to play. You know, it's, it's the same iPod experience that you get on an iPhone. Um, tap, you can control, set shuffle, you can pause in this touch screen. Do all of the same stuff that you can on the iPhone. Cool. Here I am looking at Mackerel.com. But it's important to note that not all websites know that the iPod Touch is very much like the iPhone. When I visit pockettweets.com, which is a Twitter client for the iPhone, I actually get a page that says I should come back here on my iPhone. So there's obviously some differences in how the iPod Touch is identifying itself versus how the iPhone is identifying itself. Got a YouTube browser, works the way you think, just like on the iPhone. Calendar application, very much like the iPhone calendar application, except there's no plus button up in the upper right-hand corner, so you can't add events. Contacts application is essentially the phone application without the phone. So I can go in here, I can see all the Macworld editors, I can get their information, but I can't call them direct from here because this is not an iPhone. Big surprise. Uh, got a clock application. I can find out what time it is here, what time it is in London for that Apple event next week. The iPhone calendar application is there. Got the standard sort of settings pane, just like you might expect from an iPhone. Let's take a peek at some videos here. Choose Doctor Who. There we go. Very nice. Double tap to go to letterbox. Double tap to zoom in. Single tap controls, just like on the iPhone. Go to a Macworld video. Who is that guy? Same deal. Pause. Done. Very much the same experience as on the iPhone. Since I'm on Wi-Fi here, let's look at iTunes. I did a search earlier for Image and Heat. There she is. She shows up. No problem. I can go to fav Featured. 
Lots of featured stuff there. What's hot? Top tens, tap on the top tens button. Top tens rock. See all the artists in there. Hey, don't stop believing's in the top ten. All right, and I'd actually be playing a 30 second preview if I had my headphones in. Okay, so I'm in the iTunes Wi-Fi music store here, and I've got an album up. This is Time on Earth. I'm going to tap 1099. It says buy now. Buy now. It gratuitously flies down there into the download items. So here I am in the download screen now, and down there you can see 16, now it's 15. And here in downloads I've got these tracks from this album. It's downloading them one at a time over Wi-Fi. And as they're getting downloaded, when they are finished with the download, uh, they get added to the special purchased area of my iPod. And then they'll sync back to my, uh, to my Mac when I attach it, uh, the next time I attach the iPod Touch to my Mac. So while it's doing that, I'm going to tap on Purchased, and we're going to go over there and we're going to see the tracks that I purchased. There's a couple of those Crowded House tracks and a Peter Gabriel track, and I can actually tap on Nobody Wants To, and look, we've got an album cover, it's starting to play, and it's never been on my Mac, it's just been on my iPod Touch. So there, I'm buying music direct from iTunes on the iPod Touch. And you can see that um, the albums that I bought have also been added to CoverFlow, and they're available in the regular... Um, the regular iTunes cover flow window along with the stuff I've synced from my Mac. When you reconnect your iPod, you'll see it automatically transfer the purchases back to your iTunes library and creates a new playlist that's purchases from your iPod. We'll have a whole lot more about the iPod Touch on Macworld.com, but we hope you've enjoyed your first look at it. I'm Jason Snell, the editorial director here at Macworld. Thanks for watching. See you next time.